I'm 18 and I'll be going off to ECA in August to compete in the national finals for um, Merino Fleece judging and Meat Sheep Breed judging. I'll be representing Victoria. I'm from the Mornington Peninsula, which is below Melbourne, um, and I'm currently living in Armadale while studying. Um, for people who don't know what judging is, um, basically we're competing to see who is the best, uh, who can judge a fleece or an animal um, the most confidently and to the best of the breed standards. So um, we line up and we get to judge the animals or the fleeces in front of us. Um, we write down our findings, um, tally up our scores, and then we find ourselves on a microphone uh, explaining our findings to the judges and the audience. Um, and it's an amazing way to build confidence and learn about our breeds. Um, I got into this when I was 12 years old uh, and when I started year seven at a high school. My high school had a livestock show team. And when going to shows, at the end of each show, we would get to compete in judging and handling competitions. Uh, so I started that when I was 12 and worked my way up until I was 17 and was able to compete in the um, state finals. And so winning them brought me to nationals. One of my highlights so far uh, in the agricultural show has been at the Red Hill show in 2020. Um, I captained my sheep team in high school, which meant I was responsible for all of the students uh, in the team and all of the livestock. So I did all the running of the breeding um, and raising of these animals. And I also taught my students uh, everything I could about showing, handling, uh, stud ownership, livestock health, all of these things. Uh, and that included junior judging and handling. So when we went to shows, uh, these students learnt how to do all of these things through experience. And Red Hill Show is a very small uh, show. It's just a day show on a, on a Saturday in, um, in February. And it's a lovely, very family oriented show. And we had uh, our students running around, you know, I'm running as captain, I was running around all day um, between my own stud and the school sheep. And I look into the show ring and I find three of my students uh, standing there with the biggest smiles on their faces. And they hadn't won the class yet. There was no ribbons on the sheep. Um, they were just standing there so happy and proud to be presenting these animals that they had worked so hard for. And I brought tears to my eyes because I just realized that when we're competing in shows, we can really get caught up with the politics of it all and you know whether we're winning or losing and whether we like the judges and the other breeders um, and it just kind of helped me to step back and really realize that uh, there are so many good things and we're so absolutely um, blessed to be able to show our shape and be a part of this industry so um, that's definitely one of my biggest highlights uh, was watching those girls just be confident and um, find so much joy in something that we get to do every week. Um, one of the amazing things about being at the high school I was at was the livestock team. Um, it completely changed my life and that's how I got into agriculture. So we um, showing the sheep um, at shows throughout the weekends, being able to, I started going over to South Australia for the South Australian Sheep Expo. I started um, going up to Sydney for the National Marina Challenge. We went to work experience on big productions. Um, I've been over to the US and met Corridale breeders over there, which is my breed. Um, and I've just done some amazing things that have all come out of um, being part of the school program. So being able to do that has just been a very, very rewarding um, opportunity for me. So I'd just like to thank um, Ag Shows Australia and our sponsors, the Australian Wool Innovation, um, and I look forward to seeing you all at ECA.